I'm Steve Butler, Vice President of Engineering for VPT. Today we're going to look at hybrid DC-DC converters, some considerations you need to take when mounting them, some different mounting configurations, some things to look at when you connect to the pins, some different options there. And now let's take a closer look. If we take a look at the open hybrid DC-DC converter, we can see the basic construction. There's bare semiconductor die mounted to a thick film ceramic substrate which is mounted to the header, usually made of steel. There's two types of packages. The downleaded package where the pins come out the bottom. It's available both in a flanged version with mounting flanges and without the mounting flanges. There's also a side lead package where the pins come out the side. It's important to note that the thermal path in each package is through the bottom of the package. Okay, so the bottom or the base plate we call needs to be maintained at 125 degrees C or below. There is little or no thermal path through the lid of the package. The downleaded part is typically mounted to a printed circuit board. We recommend a thermal pad which provides both good thermal transfer and isolation from the printed circuit board. So here it's mounted to the printed circuit board and soldered on the back side. For good thermal design you might use a copper plane in the circuit board shown here can be used to conduct heat from the DC-DC converter to the PC board to the mounting locations and to the chassis. The mass of the DC-DC converter is usually significant compared to other components on the PC board. So we'll usually locate the DC-DC converter near the edge of the board, near the mounting locations of the board. This will increase the resonant frequency of the circuit board assembly and result in a more rugged vibration resistant design. We also recommend that you use the flange package for high vibration environments. This part can also be glued down or underfilled with possibly a silicone or epoxy adhesive. The pins are typically soldered directly to the board. We can use the printed circuit board to dissipate the heat from the DC-DC converter but for higher power or higher temperature applications possibly, we might need a better thermal path. This is one example, strictly for demonstration purposes. But the converter is mounted to an aluminum plate, which is in turn mounted to the printed circuit card. Now in this case, the heat is dissipated from the converter to the aluminum, where then it can be dissipated to the chassis system enclosure. In this case also we'd probably use the mounting flanges to mount the parts securely to the aluminum heat spreader. Mounting the side lead package is relatively straightforward. There's four mounting holes which can use, be used to fasten it to the heat sink or chassis or possibly the printed circuit board. Again the base plate should be mounted for proper thermal transfer and we recommend a thermal pad again for good thermal transfer between the part and the heat sink. On the printed circuit board the pins are usually connected with bus wire from the pin to the printed circuit board. We also offer a down leaded option which has pins which come down and can mount for a printed circuit board mounted application. Then we also offer an upleaded option. So this might be used where the part is mounted to a heat sink, but the printed circuit board is on the opposite side. Now we'll look at another mounting configuration this is typically called a dead bug mounting. So we'll take the 
DC DC converter here and mount it upside down in the chassis and you can see there's a thermal pad already in the chassis so in this case the heat will conduct through the base plate to the flange and there to the chassis now the printed circuit board is mounted on top of that part and the leads could be soldered or if we take a closer look in this case we have a clearance hole for the pin and bus wire is used to connect to a pad on the printed circuit board so this is good for a high vibration environment Today we've looked at several mounting configurations for hybrid DC-DC converters, both down-leaded and side-leaded configurations. For more information, please check our website, vptpower.com. You can also check for application notes on this same subject there. Thank you for your time.